Uh, hi, uh, this is Adish from Informatica PIM support team. Uh, in this video, we are going to have a look at PIM IDQ overview. So basically, the agenda in this video would be to cover introduction to the PIM IDQ integration and uh, to look about uh, overview about the data quality perspective and uh, importing the standard DQ rule set package and we'll run the sample DQ rule and see the output of it. So uh, with PIM 7003 version, uh, data quality component has been integrated within PIM and uh, using this data quality component uh, you can validate the data you can run the quality checks on that particular data before exporting it to your web shops so particularly before before data quality was integrated within PIM there were uh, you can use validation rules but uh, that was limited and not sufficient so uh, with this da data quality component uh, integrated within PIM you can create the data quality rules uh, uh, within Informatica developer and you can export those rules with the metadata and it can be imported here within PIM and those rules can be run against the uh, against the data uh, that we have in PIM and uh, based on the rule definition it will run those uh, quality checks against the data and we can show the output of it and based on that uh, based on that we can check whether the, uh, the whether the quality of the data is correct good or not and based on that it can be exported to the web shops so let's go ahead and see a demo for it so let's see what the data quality perspective is so to maintain the data quality rules and uh, the data quality configuration we have got a data quality perspective so we need to go to data quality perspective and see so here we have got channel channels view in this particular view we can create different types of channels like uh, uh, for web shops we can create channels for e procurement we can create channels for print publishing and different categories we can create the channels so based on because for each channel we could have a different quality quality checks that we can perform for, let's say for web shops we'll say that image should be of this quality and for print publishing it would be of this quality so those quality checks can be performed in here uh, so the rules we can assign based on the channels and then those uh, and th those uh, uh, rules can be run at one shot for e each of the different quality uh, for each of the different channels that we have so I'll, I'll show you how to exactly do it but to first of all to uh, uh, run the data quality rule first of all we need to create a configuration so first we'll add a category so basically adding a category is nothing but we need to add like uh, this is to group the rules like whatever the rules that we have so we'll create the category like I'll say item checks so this this category will contain all the rules that will performed at the item level so let's save this and within this category we can create we need to create group so in this group we can select the data type so I would say we need to select the data type like we can select the item we can select the product so since we are making category based on the item so I'll select the item and I'll say the group as item level data checks and we'll save it now within this particular uh, configuration I can add a configuration so basically uh, basically this will be the main configuration where we will assign the rules to it and here we need to assign like which rule we need to run for this particular data quality configuration so so from here we will select the rules and to select the rules we'll click on add rules from file and we'll go to D and so this DQ rule set comes with the download links that you get from the Informatica shipping team and this comes with 
each version that you have so that you'll get the standard rule set package that you have so let's this is the XML file that you need to import in order to uh, get the standard uh, standard either predefined rules or some of the custom rules that are there that are pre provided as a part of the uh, product so this will import all the rules that we have so rules edit successfully so all the rules that were provided as a part of the standard out of the box rules are present here So these are the rules that are present and here you can see that e this is for the check checking the data type for check checking the mandatory value so you will here you will can see what is the description of uh, each of the rule is and based on based on the configuration so l let's see for this particular configuration we'll select check maximum length or we'll select check minimum length so here it says checks if the, if a given data field is having the minimum length or not so if it's if it's like the part particular length can be set through the rule configuration by typing the desired integer number so here we can type uh, the desired integer number f to this input port and it will check whether that uh, uh, whether the data field that will be that we will be mapping to this in input port has the minimum length of that particular uh, uh, field has uh, having the minimum length of this particular specified limit or not and based on that it will it will say the output whether data field is shorter than the minimum length then it is uh, it is failed if it's not then it's okay so let's select this rule so here we can say uh, check check minimum length let's save this and uh, here you can say in length as uh, 9 minimum length uh, as 9 and we can say in data as uh, so here we can say short description maybe will will run this particular rule so this is the so these are the input ports that are present and these are the output ports basically so from here it will it will it will check whether the yeah it will so here we have mapped in data as uh, short description and in length as 9 so here in data port can be mapped to any of the data field that we have at the item level so here you can see which are all the which are all the fields that can be mapped to this particular field okay so when when this rule is going to take uh, when this when we are going to execute this rule it will take this input data it will run uh, the data quality rule that uh, that you have def that is uh, to check the minimum length of this field and based on it it will provide the quality message and status basically so let's save this configuration okay so here here wise you can uh, you can create any number of categories you can create any number of group under that category and you can create any number of rules under that so i can say add one more configuration and you can say you can select the rule which is provided as a part of standard and check we'll say check maximum length basically so check max length rule basically i would say uh, 10 here or here i would say long description and you can save this configuration so basically uh, basically at this particular you can create a category you can create a group 
uh, you can give any logical name uh, which will which will denote like what are all the type of rules that will be running under this group so basically it's it's a group to uh, it's a group to have the common uh, common common rules under that particular group so just it's a, just a logical grouping under that okay so these are the two rules so you can these are the standard rules that comes with the dq package uh, with the product but you can have uh, you can create if you want to have your own custom rule you can create the informatica you can create the rule in informatica developer export it as an maplet which will come as an xml file and along with its all dependencies and you can and you can run uh, you can import those rules and run run against the data for whatever uh, functionality that you have made it for so basically apart from just uh, adding the rules we need to add the reference data which comes as a part of the standard again as a part of the dq rule set package this contains the metadata files like uh, reference reference tables if if any root if any of the rules which are which are coming as a part of the standard is referring to those reference tables so it will refer to that file so it will be residing within pim only informatica developer will be used for creating those rules and uh, having the metadata and once you export it everything will come as a part of the pim so all the metadata so which you need to import it so once we import it we'll say okay so here it will it is saying that uh, these are all the standard dictionaries that are present in that particular uh, uh, in this particular uh, reference uh, data that has been provided and these are the different types of stack uh, dictionary so we'll say okay and here you will see whether import or update all objects and just this cannot be synchronized this dictionary but this dictionary can be synchronized so you need to say whether you need to import or update all objects so this this is different but we can maintain the synchronize the reference data here so we'll say okay reference data successfully transfer successfully scheduled and it will get added to the okay so after uploading it from here like creating the data quality configuration let's have a look at the data quality folder structure so basically in the data quality folder structure you will go to pim this is the server installation directory we have got a data quality folder so here all the dictionaries like the metadata which contains the dictionary files which uh, the rules will be referring to so this will get imported here and you can see the informatica dq content here also we can see the different types of dictionaries uh, which are which which came as a part of the uh, standard rule will be coming here okay and here you can see that uh, all the classifier models will be imported here rules will be imported the rule that we imported will come here the data quality configuration that we have created will come here okay so these are the two items let's say i have a short description of test article and testing we'll run the data quality rule uh, by right clicking on it execute data quality rule you can select here channel if you would have provided it otherwise we can go here select which which data quality we need which data quality we need to run rule we need to run and you can select you can select here check minimum length execute it this will execute the rule so after uh, executing the rule we can say according to the def de definition this is greater than length 9 which we have specified in the rule so it's saying the quality status is okay and here we can see that data short data field shorter than minimum length specified so which is failed so this way you can uh, run any type any number of data quality rules that you have based on either channels and you can as you can assign channels uh, the number of rules any number of rules and you can uh, run the data quality rules on that so if you can see here you can select the quality message uh, then the rule selectable and quality status so it will show the status and the message which is coming as output from the rule so this was all of it uh, you can refer to data quality checks chapter in user manual uh, which in the pim user manual which comes as a part of the installation uh, download links 
and we would love to hear from you support videos at the and on twitter thank you